Thank you for your interest in Hawk Research Laboratory's line of SureStep bath accessibility products. This instructional video, in conjunction with product-specific written installation instructions, will provide detailed instructions for the installation process for the SureStep product line. Please feel free to contact Hawk Labs if you have any questions regarding products or installation procedures. This installation video is split into sections that follow the sequential order of the installation process for the SureStep products. We will focus on the installation of the SureStep Mono and will highlight differences in the install process for the SureStep Mono Low and Combi. The topics in this installation video include product overview, sizing, tools, preparing the tub area for installation, cutting the tub, measuring and cutting, support structure installation, and completing the installation. Hawk's innovative SureStep products allow an existing bathtub to be retrofit to provide a safer and more accessible bathing experience. Hawk's products include the Mono, the Mono Low, and the Combi Convertible. Products can be installed in fiberglass, acrylic, steel, and cast iron bathtubs. The Mono and the Mono Low retrofit an existing bathtub from a full tub to a more accessible step-in shower. While the Mono is ideal for most tubs, the Mono Low is designed to provide similar accessibility to tubs with high sidewalls. Each product provides a 24-inch opening, has a skid-resistant surface, and is available standard in both white and beige colors. These products can also be professionally refinished using Hawk's proprietary coating systems to match any bathtub color. Product kits include either a Mono or Mono Low product, a two-part support box structure, two tubes of adhesive with application nozzle, a cutting template, and customer documentation. Hawk also offers the SureStep Combi Convertible. This product allows the user the same ability to retrofit an existing bathtub to a step-in shower, but with the added benefit of being able to continue to use as a full bath. The Combi has an innovative removable center insert, allowing easy configuration back to a full bath. Each kit includes one Combi unit, a two-part support box structure, two tubes of adhesive with application nozzle, a waterproof wrap membrane, and a cutting template. Before beginning any work, it is imperative to inspect the tub for existing chips, cracks, markings, or other types of damage. If completing work on behalf of others, it is always wise to make the resident or property manager aware of any existing damage prior to beginning the installation process. Prep the work site for the installation process by masking the tub area and laying any drop cloths. Also ensure that any personal items are removed from the bathroom area to create extra space during the installation and to prevent possible damage or exposure to dust and debris that may result during the installation process. Once the tub area is prepared for installation, place the included template flush against the tub and begin tracing, using an easily visible marker to make the lines. Flip the template over and now trace the outside of the tub. The proper template lines that indicate where to cut the tub have now been made. Please note that the templates for the Mono, Mono Low, and Combi are all different and not interchangeable. SureStep products can be installed in acrylic, fiberglass, steel, or cast iron tubs. For this demonstration, we will be cutting and installing a SureStep Mono on a fiberglass tub. On acrylic or fiberglass tubs, an angle grinder or Dremel tool may be used to start the cut and may be finished with a sawzall. For cast iron tubs, the side grinder with a diamond blade is the only cutting tool used. Be aware of potential safety issues when cutting the tub, such as sparks generated during cutting, as well as items that may be located within the tub wall, such as water lines, insulation, or other items. The opening for the SureStep Mono is now complete, and you can remove the cutout section. Use caution when removing the cutout section, as there may be sharp or jagged edges both on the cutout segment and along the edges of where the cuts were made on the sides of the tub. It is helpful to spend a moment to file down any potential areas that are jagged or uneven. This prevents potential snags with fitting the SureStep product and reduces the risk of potential injury. Keep the area clean as you complete this phase of the project. Once you have completed cutting out a section of the tub, you can begin to fit the SureStep product into the tub opening. As noted previously, determining the correct size of product is essential. Please consult the sizing chart included with the written instructions. Next, you'll trace the cutout section of the tub onto the SureStep product. To do so, 
Place card paper onto the left end of the cutout section and trace the outline onto the paper. Once completed, mark this tracing as left so as to remember which side was traced. It is also helpful to place an arrow on the template to indicate which direction is the inside of the tub. Repeat the process for the right side of the tub. Mark this tracing right. It is time to transfer the shape of our cut tub onto the SureStep product. When installing the SureStep combi, keep the center insert in place during this step. The following is an important step that varies based on the SureStep product you are installing. Place the right end of the SureStep product on the ground in order to trace the left side of the product. For the SureStep mono, or the SureStep combi, place the top of the paper template a half inch from the top of the product. For the SureStep low, place the top of the paper template one inch from the top of the product. The SureStep product is now ready to be cut. It is recommended that proper eye protection be worn while using the jigsaw. Place the product on the protective material, suggested onto your designated cutting area, and cut the bottom of the product using the jigsaw. Make your cut directly on the center of the traced lines. Upon reaching the corners while cutting, tilt the jigsaw outward to prevent cutting past your lines on the vertical ends of the product. Remember to tilt your blade on each corner. On the ends, simply continue the cutting process with the jigsaw. When cutting around corners, swivel and continue cutting. Place the SureStep product into position. Remember, the side with the logo is placed on the outside of the tub. Use a small pocket mirror and look for areas on the product that may be catching and prohibiting the product from free falling into the tub. Continue this process and repeat as necessary until a desirable close fit is achieved. The product should free fall onto the tub without catching or binding. Once the SureStep product has been cut and a satisfactory fit into the tub opening has been achieved, it will be necessary to assemble the support box structure to provide support to the product. The support box structure consists of one small and one large support box. The large support box will compress over the top of the small box to the necessary height to provide support to the product. If you are installing a SureStep combi, a waterproof membrane will also be applied to the open cutout channel once the support box has been properly positioned. It is important to understand that each tub has variations and modifications may be necessary in the field depending on the flooring, height of the tub, and other factors. Build the support box structure to the appropriate height. If working with a wooden subfloor, begin by screwing or gluing a treated 2x4 directly to the subfloor to serve as the base for the support. Remove any materials from the subfloor that may cause an uneven surface. Prior to inserting the small support box, secure a 22 and a half inch long 2x4 into the channel of the small support box. Place several screws into the small support box to properly adhere the 2x4 in place. It may be necessary to pre-drill some holes. Insert the small box in the channel. At this point, do not adhere the small support box to anything. Place the large support box into the channel and over the top of the small box. Place the SureStep product into position and compress the SureStep product downward to determine the proper height and placement for the support box structure. Once the SureStep product is properly supported, remove the step and support box structure and mark both ends of the small support box where the large box is compressed. Once properly marked, label the markings left and right to avoid potential confusion. Uncompress the two support boxes from one another and apply adhesive around the perimeter of the large box. Compress the small and large support box structures back together to the appropriate markings made earlier on the small box. Place the support structure back into the channel and insert the SureStep product to verify that proper placement has been achieved. Secure both sides of the support structure by placing two screws in each side. Place the SureStep product into position once more to inspect the fit and position. This is the final opportunity to make any adjustments if necessary. If installing the SureStep combi, install the waterproof wrap membrane after completing the support structure assembly. This step does not apply if you are installing the SureStep Mono or Mono Low. Apply adhesive to the top of the large support box. It is recommended that an extra bead of adhesive be placed on the ends of the support box where the step curves upwards. Place a substantial bead of adhesive on the top left and right sides of the tub where the SureStep Mono will be seated. 
Prior to placing the SureStep product onto the tub for the final time, it is necessary to gently pass a low flame several times along the entire perimeter of the SureStep product. This will help promote bonding between the product and the bathtub once adhesive is applied. Use caution when using the torch, ensuring there are no flammable materials nearby, and do not hold heat. Before finalizing the installation, first make sure the SureStep product is in proper position and fully compressed, pressing firmly and evenly to ensure proper placement. Thoroughly wipe the tub area with isopropyl alcohol, where the adhesive will bond and allow enough time to flash off before applying the adhesive. Do not apply the isopropyl alcohol directly on the adhesive, as it will prevent the adhesive from curing. Also, do not use to clean or smooth your final bead. Once the SureStep product is seated and stable, caulk around the entire perimeter of the product. It is recommended that you wear gloves during this step to avoid direct exposure to the adhesive. Run your gloved finger along the beads and wipe the excess on a folded paper towel. Try to smooth the beads one time only. Underneath the bottom edges of the SureStep product can be more difficult to see and the angled tip may be used in completing this step. Use the small mirror to inspect the bead and to verify that all surfaces have been properly sealed. Spend a few minutes at the end of the job to once again clean up the tub and the bathroom area. Upon completion, place a sign on the SureStep product warning not to use the tub for two days while the adhesive cures. If installing a SureStep combi, do not remove the center insert and leave in place while the adhesive cures. The SureStep installation is now complete. Hawk Labs thanks you for your interest in the SureStep line of bath accessibility products. Please don't hesitate to call us at 800-321-4295 should you have any questions.